Hey everyone, this is Derek. On this video, we're looking at finding the equation of a linear model. And this is going to be um, sort of a more intuitive treatment of lines rather than um, quite so algebraic. We'll see the more algebraic version in the next section. So here we have this, you know, so y equals mx plus b. You might remember that from a previous class. That's our slope-intercept form. In this section, um, it's being written a little bit differently. Uh, f of x, we're using our function notation. And then b plus mx, which is the exact same thing as mx plus b, is just written backwards. But the idea is we're starting at some amount b, and then we're adding on to that with each change in x, we're getting this, this change in the, the slope, this uh, amount that's going to get added on to this initial quantity. So b is like where we're starting, and then m is how it's going to change as we, as we uh, change x. So let's see how it looks with an actual problem. So a town's population is growing linearly. <clears throat> uh, in 2003, the population was 70,000. The population has been growing by 2,200 people per year. Uh, write an equation for the population P uh, X years after 2003. So we're letting uh, 2003, we're letting that be X equals zero. So at uh, time zero, then the population is 70,000. So this is gonna be like our starting amount. So in 2003, we're starting at 70,000 and then the population is going to increase. So it'll be plus 2,200 people each year thereafter. So we're supposed to use P um, equals <coughs> starting amount 70,000 and then plus uh, how it's going to change, which is the 2200, that's going to be our slope. That's our per year times x, which is each year after 2003. So when x is 0, 2003, it's 70,000. And then when it's uh, x is 1, which would be 2004, we'd have this plus the 2200. Um, and then for part b, we're supposed to use the formula to find the population in 2009. Um, so 2009 would be uh, x equals 6, because that's 6 years after, 2003. So we're just going to put 6 in here. So our population would be 70,000 plus 2,200. So that's our growth per year times 6 years of growth. And we add those two together. And I got P to be uh, 80. There we go. 80. 3,200. Okay, this example is pretty similar. So last year, Pinwheel Industries introduced a new toy, cost $5,400 to develop the toy, and $25 to manufacture each toy. So if we make none of these things right, we spent 5,400 bucks to kind of figure out how to make them. And then for each one we're gonna make, it costs us $25. Uh, and then fill in the blanks below. Okay, so give a linear equation in the form and so it's the same thing. They're changing the letters around, but still slope times an input plus however much we're starting with. Um, but this time they're calling it C equals MN plus B. That gives the total cost C to produce N of these toys. Okay, so our cost is going to equal our starting amount, this B. So I'll write it the other direction this time. But that's why I kind of like it the other way for these problems. So our starting amount would be $5,400 if I make none of these things. And then it's going to be $25 for each unit, and they want me to use N for the number of units. Uh, find the cost produce uh, 3,850 toys. Okay, so we're just going to put this in here. So our cost will be $25 or twenty-five dollars times 3,850 plus 54. And then I just... <clears throat> throw all that in the calculator and for that I got my cost to be 101650 uh, and then with $49,150 how many toys could be produced so this is money right so that's not that's not units that's cost that's money so and remember with this equation we're getting out dollars and it's saying 25 times the number of units, $25 times the number of units plus the $5,400. So this is dollars coming out, units going in. So when we get dollars out, that means we have to, that's our cost side. 
So 49150 equals 25m plus 5400. And so now we're solving for n. And so we'll scoot the 5400 over and you do that and you're gonna get 43750. And then divide both sides by 25. And we'll get n equals uh, 1750. Again, that's units um, instead of dollars this time.